Our first lesson is from the prophet Jeremiah. Listen to God's word, people of Judah, all you families of Israelites' household. This is what God says. What wrong did your ancestors find in me that made them wander so far? They pursued what was worthless and became worthless. They didn't ask, where's the Lord who brought us up from the land of Egypt, who led us through the wilderness in a land of deserts and ravines, in a land of drought and darkness, in a land of no return where no one survives? I brought you into a land of plenty to enjoy its gifts and goodness, but you ruined my land you disgraced my heritage. The priests didn't ask, where is God? Those responsible for the instruction didn't know me. The leaders rebelled against me. The prophets spoke in the name of Baal, going after what has no value. That is why I take you to court and charge even your descendants. Look to the west, as far as the shores of Cyprus, and to the east, as far as the land of Kedar. Ask anyone there, has anything this odd ever taken place? Has a nation switched gods, though they aren't really gods at all? Yet my people have exchanged their glory for what has no value. Be stunned at such a thing, you heavens. Shudder and quake. My people have committed two crimes. They have forsaken me, the spring of living water. And they have dug wells, broken wells that cannot hold water. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. God, you are gracious, patient, and merciful. Thank you for loving us and giving us life. God, we worship you with every fiber of our being. We praise your character, strength, and good name. Eternal One, we remember the gifts you have given us, forgiveness, healing, and eternal life. Like a mother, you protect us with your tender love. You feed us good things each and every day. We feel like kids again. We have a new lease on life. Our spirits are ready to fly. God, you are gracious, patient, and merciful. Thank you for loving us and giving us life. Like a judge, you fight for those who are oppressed and help them get back on their feet again. You gave the Ten Commandments to Moses and continue to provide wise counsel to those who listen. God, you are gracious and merciful slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. You don't constantly reprimand us or hold a grudge against us forever. God, you are gracious, patient, and merciful. Thank you for loving us and giving us life. You don't give us what we really deserve or throw the full force of the law at us. Your mercy extends further than we could possibly imagine. Your forgiveness wipes our sin slate clean. Like a dad who feels great compassion for his kids, you have compassion for those who stand in awe of you. We praise you, God, with all of creation. We worship you with every fiber of our being. God, you are gracious, patient, and merciful. Thank you for loving us and giving us life. Our second lesson is from the book of Hebrews. Keep loving each other like family. Don't neglect to open up your homes to guests, because by doing this, some have been hosts to angels without knowing it. Remember prisoners as if you were in prison with them and people who are mistreated as if you were in their place. Marriage must be honored in every respect with no cheating on the relationship because God will judge the sexually immoral person and the person who commits adultery. Your way of life should be free from the love of money and you should be content with what you have. After all, he has said, I will never leave you or abandon you. This is why we can confidently say, the Lord is my helper and I won't be afraid. What can people do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke God's word to you. 
Imitate their faith as you consider the way their lives turned out. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So let's continually offer up a sacrifice of praise through him, which is the fruit from our lips that confess his name. Don't forget to do good and to share what you have, because God is pleased with these kinds of sacrifices. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to Luke. On one occasion, when Jesus was going to the house of a leader of the Pharisees to eat a meal on the Sabbath, they were watching him closely. When he noticed how the guests chose places of honor, he told them a parable. When you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not sit down at the place of honor in case someone more distinguished than you has been invited by your host and the host who invited both of you may come and say to you, give this person your place. And then in disgrace, you would start to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, go and sit down at the lowest place so that when your host comes, he may say to you, friend, move up higher. Then you will be honored in the presence of all who sit at the table with you. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted. He said also to the one who had invited him, When you give a luncheon or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your siblings or your relatives or rich neighbors in case they may invite you in return, and you would be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ.